this one, probably just one, because I just, that's probably all I will use. Um, anyway, so, I'm not very, use this brush for this purpose for, um, but uh, I've got my piece of paper towel, which I, is bright pink because, and red and purple and green, because of the last painting that I did, the last painting, the last painting, the last painting, the one I did earlier today. Um, I will show that to you. Uh, is this, this flower. I did this flower earlier today, just as like a practice run, sort of thing. Um, so, um, this, I'm going to be using this and maybe the other side because it's cleaner, um, for this, this paintwork. And all of this here, all of this here is a Let's get that brush. 
so cute. They have so many little, little hairs, little hairs. They have these little hairs on them. Um, so that's, that's the white for the tail and it kind of looks off. Um, but right now I'm just going to get some yellow over here and mix it with the white. Let's mix some of this yellow here up with the white. It just kind of makes it a little bit thicker, a bit more like a gouache, I suppose. And I'm just going to block in that, that yellow stripe. I'm just going to block it in really basically those stripes of yellow that I think the bee, where I think it will go. Ah uh, yeah, so the battery just died, but we are going to continue on. So it's kind of like sketching in where I think the color is going to go is what I'm doing right now. So I'm just sketching in really, really basically with a quick layer of where I think most of the yellows will be. Um, so bees have like a dark fur under their, in their body, in their body, in their like their hairs, they're covered in hairs. And it's very dark in the center, dark in the center, and then it radiates out and goes a little bit yellow, a little bit yellow, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, just a little, a little bit yellow. Their legs are quite dark though, they're not, they're not yellow, they're not yellow. And wings are sort of, sort of clear or see-through, so that's going to be a hard effect to have, but uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of that yellow in those outer edges of those hairs there. Um, and now I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to do something with the wing. What should we do? What should we do? So I've learned that in painting recently, a recent thing that I learned in painting is that you don't need to have uh, a good understanding of colour. You have to have a good understanding of tone, which uh, made me quite happy because let's do orange. Let's do a little bit of orange um, because I have really bad colour, really bad. Um, uh, I'm a little bit, what, you, what is that word? Uh, colourblind. I'm a little bit colourblind, right? So I, I have a lot of trouble telling what good colours are and, and I think it's really helped me back from doing painting and when I do it on on the computer, it's much easier because I can just color pick. I can pick up that color from somewhere else. I don't need to bother uh, making it myself. See, um, and I think that's really something that I that has helped me get over a fear is that you don't need to know colors in order to paint well because it doesn't matter what colors you use. It matters what the tone of the colors are. So the lights to darks is what matters. So if you have a really bright orange where you want a really dark orange, it won't work. But it doesn't matter what that color is. So you can have shadows, you can bring in some purples. So you can bring in a little bit of purple here as the, the dark shadows because it's a dark color. Um, so it doesn't matter if there's no purple on a bee, right? Bees don't usually have purple in their shadows. But it's going to work for the idea of this painting because... It, it's irrelevant. The eye will make up the colors. We'll be like, oh, that's fine. Look at the colors. How pretty are they? While still recognizing the shape of the bee and keeping the, the idea and concept that, yes, it is, in fact, a bee. Um, and not just, I don't know, a rainbow of colors. Um, so now I've got a little bit of purple in there just radiating out. I would like to, I'd like to put a little, just a smear in these leg values. These leg values here. Um, so if you've got the value and the tones right in the colors, the colors aren't as important. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter if I'm using a dark purple or a, or a, I don't know, brown or black, whatever color a bee really is. So you can come back in with a darker tone. I'm sorry, it didn't pick up very well. Um, come back in with a darker tone and that will, it, it will work because of the value of the color, not the color itself. So now I'm going to go in with black. It's actual black, not fake black like purple. Uh, actual black colours, and I'm going to sketch in where I think the black will be. Where I think the black will be. Now the idea of sketching in is that it can be rough and quick, but also the idea of watercolours is that it can be loose and it, it's all right. You don't have to do everything. Uh, you know, you don't have to make every line look good. Uh, you just have to have the, it's impressionism, I suppose, the vague impression of, yes, oh yes, that, that is a bee. That is indeed black and yellow stripes of a bee. Oh my god, I saw the cutest bee today. I saw a bee that was maybe not even a bee, could have been a butterfly. Uh, some sort of insect that was yellow and black and stripy and furry. But it had butterfly wings, but they looked yellow and black like a bee. So not, not bee wings, not, not wings like this. Not those clear, not these clear, these clear... Uh, insect-like wings, they were like butterfly wings, but still in that, that red and, not red, sorry, 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 yellow, still in that yellow, that yellow and 
is making this line real strong because it's like the bone of the wing. Um, that, that yellow and black, that yellow and black wing was amazing. I'll, I'll, I'll add in a picture or a video even. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it up on my Instagram reel very soon, but uh, it'll probably already be up there. Go check me out on Instagram, Spanmade. Um, Spanmade, Spanmade, that's where I put all my art stuff. So if you're watching this going, wow, I want to see what else she does. Or, wow, that's real bad, I want to see what other atrocities she has. <laughs> um, Self-depreciation isn't funny, I'm going to stop it. Span, 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 span. So, anyway, 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 Instagram, we're going to put up that B. I might put it up here as well. Uh, a little bit, just to show you a little bit of what it looks like. So, I'm going to get that color of black really thick. I'm going to get that thick black. Uh, so to make a thicker paint, you just pick up more of the pigment of the paint and less water. So I don't want to squeeze the brush. I don't want to squeeze the brush to get any water. I just want to pick up more and more and more of that uh, that sweet uh, pigment there. I'm going to do the eye. I'm just going to do the bee's eye now. The bee's eye. So you don't want to you don't want to put black where the highlights are going to be. So you want to avoid. I'm just going to draw a little circle around where the eyelid's going to be, and then a big circle around where the actual eye, the actual eye is going to be. And everything in between the big circle and the little circle, whoops, um, is, I'm going to try and make as pure black as I can. So this is going over the top of graphite, which isn't ideal, but it, it doesn't really matter. It seems to be covering it quite well, actually. Um, it seems to be covering it quite well. It's not too rough or too, I don't know, interesting. <laughs> it's not changing the textures too much. Hopefully the lighting is it's alright, as I said, the shadow is very annoying, but what are we going to do? Um, I can't open the blinds because that will let all of the heat in and kill me. I will die. I'm very hot right now. Anyway. Um, okay, so I'm just going to water down the black again. So it's a little bit looser, and then I missed a bit here that's supposed to be dark. That I missed. Alright, so I'm just going to pull out some of those lines as it is. And just start doing that all over, all over this black area. I think it, it looks like it needs it. It looks like it needs it. It probably should have done more to the yellow before I started doing more detail on this black here, but we live and we learn. Alright, so we'll just do a little bit more there, a little bit more there. Alright, okay. So now I want to do white, but I'm not going to do that yet because I still have dark on my brush. So while I've got dark on my brush, I'm just going to pick up more of that dark pigment and we're going to do the legs, the legs, the legs, the bee's knees. Let's do the bee's knees. So he's going to outline it as if I were because that really lets you see the shape of the the bee, the bee's knees. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go down those lines that I've already done um, with that with that pigment. Okay, so he's got little he's got little feet, but nobody knows what bees' feet. Look up bees' feet; they're they're ridiculous. They look amazing, um, and also impossible to draw in a painting such as this. So I'm just going to add a little bit more uh, uh, value of black into that leg there, um, which is probably a bit of a mistake, but I'll come back in with some purples and browns and blues later. Um, just doing the outline. I'm just doing the outline now. I'm just doing the outline. I, I whisper that just now to remind myself what I was doing. Um, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? All right. I'm just doing the outline of these legs here. Little bee feet, and there's another leg. You can only see three legs in this picture. You can only see three, three legs, three legs. He's got one, two, three, three legs. But bees do actually have um, six, six legs. I believe they have six legs. Uh, I learned this when I was drawing this bee, going, why has it got so many legs? Um, yeah, bees have six legs. That's a, that's a thing that they have. Um, do all insects have big, six big knees? <laughs> do, do all insects have big knees? Uh, do they have, do they have six legs? Alright, I'm just going to pick up some of this darker colour to get this fur happening around the eye. Happening around the eye here, just get that, those, those hairs in that darker colour. It's just using a little bit more water now, so it's not as, uh, pigmenty. Alright, uh, so pick up more of that pigment, make it harder, and we'll do the, uh, the feelers. Is that what they're called? The antenna, the antenna. He's doing some, some antennas here on the bee. Um, because they're quite dark, they're quite dark. Right, and now we've got this whole section that needs more purples and darks before I put more yellow in. So what I'm going to do is pick up some blue. 
the dark blue and I know that I'm mixing. I should have cleaned my brush to get the dark off but I'm a rebel and sometimes I like to just mix the dark in with the colour while it's still on my brush. Uh, so this is a dark blue, a very dark blue, made even darker with the pigment I already had on my brush, which was black. So now this is a blue-black, this is a blue-black, a blue-black tone, which is a very dark. Um, and I'm putting in the middle just to sort of bring that area bigger. Lots of little strokes. Lots of little strokes. Um, what colour should we make the flower, this flower, this flower here that he's standing on? Rafa's Gudge Flower, what colour would you like it? Blue. But I've got, I've got this dark blue colour in his body. I suppose I could do a bright blue. A bright blue. A bright blue. How do we feel about a bright blue? We could do green. But then it looks like it's, you know, what about, what about red? Alright, we're going to do light blue. We'll do this light blue, this light sky blue. But for now, we'll just keep it in the darks and get some of those fine hairs coming out even further. Uh, we'll pick up some of this this purple colour we got over here. Let's pick it up, bring it over here. And it's a little bit too, I want a mid-range tonal thing. I'm going to bring up a little bit of bright red in there just to mix it up. It's going to go brown probably. I think it made it darker. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to put some of that around. It's kind of runny, so I'm going to use it to fill in those, those gaps, those, those dark gaps that just need a little bit of blending, blending, blending. It is nice to see every single individual hair, but it's also nice to give the illusion that there's more hair than every single strand you can see. Um, so I'll just really vaguely colour in the basic outline of where the hairs will go with this. So it's not... There's also this dark colour needs to go in here as well. Because there's, there's still bee under there. But that, like, there's still bee. Still bee. So much bee. Alright, so now I'm going to pick up that dark purple, add it with the other dark, and do the legs. Bees legs, bees knees, the bees knees are quite a dark colour. Pick up some brown, some brown. Add it, throw in that mix. Almost, it's almost a pure brown I'm using there. It's not that mixed, it's not that mixed. So that it will show up. Uh, I say mixing more, more colour into it. Um, so it will show up as something separate to the bee fur. So it's still quite dark, but has that hint of uh, contrast, contrast, contrast. So having that, that brown is really quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is clean my brush. Clean my brush, which I should have done a million times before now. But that's pretty clean. That's looking pretty clean. Okay, so um, he needs much more fur up and around here because he looks too thin and he looks too thin. So what we're going to do is mix a sort of dark yellowy color with this brown. I kind of, it'll, it'll almost look orange, honestly. Um, and we're just going to put some of that in sort of a mid-range tone. This is, this is a dark yellow. The idea here is that it's tonally dark, um, but also quite yellow because that's where the highlights are going to go. I'm going to put the gold, the, the shiny yellow. Just could pick some of that dark up because there's nowhere near enough up here. Nowhere near it. Plus, it's mixed in with the light, so it's going tonally different. So I'm just going to get more and more, more dark there to just, just just fluff him up a bit, fluff him up. He needs to be a little fluffier, fluffier, fluff him up. Uh, right, so we'll just fluff that face. She a big fluffy face. He's a big fluffy face to be. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, clean that brush again because I picked up the dark. Uh, and go back into this darker brownish, yellow, orange color we got happening. Um, and I'm just gonna put in lines and lines of that. Lots of little, little lines, little lines, lots of little lines. So it's kind of like he's gonna be glowing yellow. Him to look like he's almost glowing, so yellow that he's almost glowing, that he's like a dark bee that is glowing yellow. All right, so that's looking pretty good, but we need more, we need more something in here. So he's gonna put a little bit of that yellow glow in there and pick up that white. Didn't clean my brush, terrible use of white. I was gonna use some clean brush, uh, some clean white here, and just sort of. Uh, water it down a little bit and just sort of go over the entire wing, even over the dark bits which will uh, smear a little bit, it'll smear a little bit but it's good to do a little wash, just a little, little white wash over the, those, kind of make it look uh, see-through, kind of make it, making the, the wings look a little bit it's iridescent for what I'm looking for, I don't think so, opaque, non-opaque, less opaque, I don't know, anyway. I'm just going to add that on there and hope that it dries a similar colour to what it is. So, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more pigment in some areas than in others, just so it sort of looks wing-like. 
I love the color. Um, I want to just, I'm just going to do a bit. I'm going to find a clean bit and I'm just going to dab.
I went through a stage where I wasn't, but then it became too complicated and not in like a, uh, but in like a feeling, like an autistic way, like it was, it felt too much, uh, too, it was too feely. Um, I could feel the hairs on my legs and when they would rub against the, like the pant legs or the, the do not cover ring, just awful, really awful sensation. Um, so I shave my legs now, still. shave, so neither should I. That was my ideal, but I want to shave because I don't like bees don't have to wear jeans <laughs> or clothes. They might change their tone if they did. Anyways, 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 enough rambling from me. Let's get on to that nice gold paint. Don't you reckon? Don't you reckon it's time? Is it time? It is time. Let's do a little bit more in here. Just blur those bits. No one wants to look, babe. Alright, I made a bus. Doing that. Alright, now, totally. Should be good. Alright. Oakley doakley, let's close this up. So, what I do here, I'm gonna call that done, is just wipe the runny bits away. Real big, just the runny bits. Okay. And then just close that up, and we're done. That's all the cleanup needed. I'll wash the brush a bit later because I'm still using. Yes. <laughs> 
mix it up, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix up that pigment, pigment, pigment. Uh, until it's also quite uh, luscious, quite luminous, quite, 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 um, what do you call that, what do you call that, what do you call that, opaque, until it's quite runny and looks good. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna... We're just gonna ignore my mum talking about a snake that she saw on the road. Wish she would talk excitedly when I'm not filming about the snake, because it is exciting. So how's that? Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Let's get a little clean area. Let's get a clean area. It's quite damp. This, this is quite damp now. I just smudge it out. This one doesn't smudge out as well. Probably because it's a thicker paint. I applied the paint too thickly. I applied it too thickly, so it, it's not going to come off as easy. But that's good, because now it has that sort of effect. We're going to give it a bit of a smeared effect. Sort of rubbing it in, I suppose. Uh, right. How's that? How's that look? How does that look? That's pretty good. I like the effect. I like it. I like it. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. I like it. I like the effect that the silver paint has had on the wing. And I like how the metallic yellow has just made the whole base sort of pop, 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 pop. And I like how we not drawn too much attention to the bright color here, but it still has the different colors of the dark blues and purples here that you don't even notice. You don't even notice it. Because the tonal value was right. Okay, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Are we good? Are we done? I think we're done. Yay! Oh, this was fun. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had a really good time. And I will now do a, a poll on Instagram. The, I'm going to do it here now so that in the comments you can tell me which one do you like better. The bee that we did today in this video or the bee that we did in the previous video. So this is watercolor pencils, watercolor pencils number one, watercolor pencils number one. Number one is watercolor pencils of a picture of a bee and it has pink flowers. Very similar sketch, very, very similar concept and sketch, but this is watercolor pencils with pink flowers. It's, it's number one. So do you like number one or do you like, do you like number two that we did today in this video? Which is blue flowers, blue flowers number two. Number two is blue flowers and it's in watercolor paints. Watercolor paints, watercolor paints, watercolor paints. So this is number two and it's in watercolor paints and it's blue flowers and it's number two. So which one? Which bee this bee? This bee with the, with the black butt, the bee with the white butt, the bee, the bee, the bee with the, the bee with the watercolor pencils and the pink flowers. Number one, the bee with the watercolor paints, the watercolor paints, the blue flowers. Sway your hands. This is everyone's favorite.